Welcome back to UAV drone design. Uh, on the first tutorial, we went through on uh, creating a sketch pictures and uh, setting up our planes. And on this one, we will hopefully be able to create the top one and the bottom part of this uh, UAV drone. It's a fairly simple drone and a fairly simple design. Uh, we will work with surfaces and 3D sketches. So for all follow along with me and then you might uh, take away something from it. The picture, the sketch pictures and then everything will be in the description. Like always, the downloadable files, both the STL and the SLD PRT. And feel, feel free to download it. So uh, let's start by uh, creating a uh, sketch on the front plane. And this is just a normal sketch. We're going to choose a spline here. And you're going to sketch from here. Let's bring it up there like that. There's one thing that you need to keep in mind is that uh, the more spline point uh, you introduce to the design, uh, the more difficult it is to uh, manipulate them. So the less points you have, the easier it is. However, in some areas you have to. So once you have your spline here, you just click on the spline and just add a display control polygon. Uh, check that. Once you have that, just click on that. And then just manipulate your uh, your spline to make it uh, fairly make it fairly close to the to the lines that you're looking for. Let's take that out from there. So the less uh, curvatures you have introduced, the, the better it is. So let's bring that up here like that. And bring that neck down a little bit more. Make it more aggressive drone-like. UAV drone. <laughs> I can't wait to design these rockets and the mechanical parts. Okay, so you can click on that and then check uh, show curvature combs and that will bring this up and you know, you can check how your uh, uh, curves are doing. But uh, in, in, in this instance, I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm just going to take out this curvature combs here. And go back to here and then double check if everything is nice and smoothly uh, created. But I like everything the way it is. Maybe bring this up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, bring this in this way. Bring this up. Now down. Like that. Okay, that's good. I like that. Check that. Okay. And now we're going to exit the sketch. And then, as you can see, sometimes the line hide the line, our sketches hides behind our sketch picture. <clears throat> so one trick I can show you here is to uh, make this picture a bit transparent. So double click on the picture, left click, double left click. And when you come here, you will see user defined. And then put this watermark inside the white area and just bring up the transparency. Not that much. I don't like a completely transparent. However, you could bring up about there, and then check that, and then do the same thing with that other one. User defined watermark. Bring up the transparency. So the our our lines won't hide away. Okay, so let's create another sketch on the top plane. And we will try to snap on to the first line that we created. And that was that. So we're going to choose another spline here. And we're going to snap on this point. Okay. We're going to snap on that. And we're going to create our shape that we're looking for. Something that on there. Don't worry about that if it's not if it's not straight here, we will come back and uh, fix it up and clean it up. As long as this side here is showing us that it's a straight line, so somewhat straight. So we're going to stray straight as much as possible. I'm in the middle here. We can introduce 
this curve and just try go over the edge of the sketch picture when you're creating your surfaces because you can always come back in and, uh, and trim back to the perfect edge so choose your line and uh, add the display control polygon and then get these points out of here good okay and now you can just clean it up with the shape that you're looking for okay somewhere there so let's look at this picture how does it look in the front here right so it's not exactly it's not exactly point a point sharp but let's see uh i mean if we make it sharp okay we might add some chamfer to that okay let's go back to the model and then let's clean this up here a little bit a little bit more something like that make that straight and bring this in a bit come back here and uh, bring this up bring this lower down something like that bring this up yeah i mean that looks good to me okay press ok on that exit okay so now we have all these two lines now we're going to add our 3d sketch so it's not going to be a simple sketch it's going to be a 3d sketch so we're gonna go to sketch here and under sketch there's going to be 3d sketch and then you're going to choose a spline and we're gonna start our first uh, spline somewhere here and the next starts and we're going to step over here something like that and then we're just going to click on this plane and press normal to profile and we're just going to eyeball this one get the shape that we're looking for bring it up over here and then we're going to click that one and we're going to fix it along z axis check that and we can just further manipulate this uh uh, this spline here it does have a tiny bit of uh, flare I don't know what would you call that bring that out and I just add that little bit of profile there let's look yeah, it's not too much it's just a very tiny bit really small amount something like that and bring that not too much because this will mirror over to this side so i'm happy with this one so i'm going to check that exit this sketch okay and then we're going to add another one somewhere about somewhere about here so let's go back and get a 3d sketch we're going to choose another spline and then going up this way we're going to add one about here and here and the same thing we're gonna click on this plane and no more to profile it's gonna make it since it's bigger because it's the dome it's going to be bigger than the other one however this needs to be fixed along the z and we're going to add a little bit of profile there just follow that line something like that okay bring this out okay something like that 
okay and then uh, we will continue this it at the next tutorial